So as I told you last week, I'm gonna do an experiment here. Um, these are Prime Jim and Prime Jan. I think most of them are Prime Jan. But um, very, very thorny blackberries. But they've always done great. Uh, the, this variety, these two varieties, uh, Prime Arc. Uh, these two varieties, Prime Jim and Prime Jan, they're Primacane. They're a Primacane variety. And they've always done well for me until my gophers took over and they didn't do so well. So what I'm going to do, the experiment is, I, I know they'll propagate, um, and I'm, you know, pretty sure I could propagate them indoors. Uh, they're pretty good cuttings. I didn't find a lot of good um, resources out there. Most of the plants looked pretty poor, but these look pretty good. So what I'm going to do, half of these I'm going to scarify, which basically means I'm just going to give them some scars. I'm going to scrape off the thorns, the part that's going to be uh, propagated. I'm going to scrape it, scratch it, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly when I say scarify. And it just basically means give it some scars, you know? Uh, scraping off some of the, I don't know, epidermis or whatever. And uh, sometimes they will, sometimes this will help different cuttings to root, uh, root better if you give it a scar, a bit of a scar. So I'm, I'm not gonna dip them in anything, no, rooting hormones simply because of the way I'm going to propagate them and I'll show you that in just a second but I will scarify five of them and five of them I will not and this is the experiment to see if that helps the propagation any and to see if this mode of propagating is viable I really don't think it is and I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these in water just like I would propagate a um, uh, a tomato. I've got uh, a video on cloning tomatoes and this would be a good time maybe to clone some, some tomatoes. Um, and if you want to, uh, if you want to see that video, you can look up in the upper right hand corner right about now and I'll try to put it up there. <clears throat> cloning tomatoes, you just put them in water and pretty soon they start rooting pretty well. Uh, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do with these. I, again, I don't know that I, I don't think it's going to work simply because uh, blackberries do not like, um, when they're planted in the ground, they don't like real soggy roots. They've got a, a shallow root system and you can, uh, they can get root rot pretty quick if you, um, if you uh, leave, if you water the soil too much and they get, uh, they get kind of water log. This is a pretty good size cutting there. I'll make sure I get him in the scarified bunch. And I'm going to put these probably in a in a mason jar with some water. And I'm going to scrape up, scarify about half of them. I got 10 cuttings. I'll do five and five. That'll give me an easy to figure out percentage because I don't do math real well. So there's that I'll pick that one. It'll be five that are scarified and five that I just leave the thorns on, don't touch. All of them going in the same water. And again, I'm I'm not sure this will work. I you know it might. I've never seen anybody do it before. Let me put it that way. I'm not saying they haven't, I'm just uh, I'm just saying I haven't seen it happen. So if it does work and nobody else thought of it, <laughs> I am ahead of my time. That gum. All right, these are non-scarified. These are scarified. It's going to be pretty easy to tell once I put them in the water. I'm not going to have to mark them or anything like that um, because these are just uh, pretty much all their thorns are gone. In fact, the few that are on there, I'll just break off by hand. I missed a few. And, uh, and that'll, you know, that'll tell me which, which group, which test group is which. So I will, uh, let me put these in water and I'll show you show you them in water and then um we'll be back probably next week week after two and um showing you the results see if anything happened i suspect if they're going to root especially in water i'd be able to see it pretty doggone quick because it's going to be in clear water and uh, so anyway 
Uh, let me get these done, get the thorns broke off all of these, and get them in water. I'll show you. So I got the water. What I did, I'm not going to use um, inside water, which is treated. We're on a community water system. Outside, I have wells. And uh, so these are going to go in well water. Trying to do this without a tripod. I should have left it set up. And they need to be, like I told you on the other ones, once you cut them, they need to be, they need to be uh, in potting soil or in mix or in something pretty quick. Don't let them sit out and dry. So uh, again, I'll be able to see, um, I'll be able to see pretty quick if it starts to make roots like you would on a tomato cutting, a, a, a tomato sucker that you would clone. Again, if you want to know how to do that, look up there right about, uh, or just click that little old doodad, little round thing up there and it'll take you there. Um, so uh, I am gonna put them indoors because I want to take care of them a little bit better. I wanna, I wanna mist them. If they're outside, I'm not gonna be able to mist them well. Uh, the tops may not dry out simply because of the wicking action of the water. That might, it might not need a whole lot of misting because of that. I don't know, but we'll find out. I've probably got uh, you know several, several uh, nodes, the little places that it's gonna sprout roots from several of them in the water like that one right there like that little place where a, where a little branch was that's where they're going to sprout roots from if they sprout roots so let me take it inside i'll uh, mist it uh, several times a day like i did the other ones try to be a little bit better um, a little more consistent <laughs> with these i don't really want these plants i'm just doing an experiment to see if this is a viable way to propagate um, blackberries. I, it's a skill I may want to have someday in the summertime. May need me some plants in the summertime for next year and the uh, best time. This would be a great time to propagate because you get you could build a great root system, put them in pots in September, October, something like that. And then for if you're in the south, you you, you would want to plant, or I like to plant, in the late fall, November, December. If you're up north, you would probably want to plant in uh, the early spring. But uh, but that would give you an opportunity to make a, a, a several months worth of roots in, when they're in individual pots once they're re repotted. But we're getting way before the cart is, is way before the horse right there because we got to sprout some roots first. So let me take it in the house. I'll mist it regularly and we'll give you the update on it in a couple of weeks when I find out something. I should know. I don't know. I should know pretty quick, I would think. When they're in potting mix, you can't tell. You know, when you see that sprout come up, it's because it's it started already started making some roots. So uh, I would think I'm leaving a little bit of green on here, by the way, and I may cut some of that off. I don't I don't like to leave maybe just maybe a couple of half leaves or something like that. So some of these just don't have just a little bit. I may leave that, but some of these with a little bit bigger leaf system, I may I may go in there and just cut it, you know cut it about right there and to make leave some half leaves. You just don't need a lot of grain, you want roots. You don't want growth up here, you want roots. So anyway, this is the experiment. We will see how it works. I will keep you appraised of the situation or apprised of the situation. I don't know, whichever it is. Again, I'm not the English major or anything like that. I majored in, well, you know what I majored in. I went to, got a master's degree in, at HKU. Hard Knocks University. That is where my master's is. Working on my doctorate. <laughs> All right. Let me take them in the house. And I guess that's about it. We gone.